Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. And we've got rainy conditions here for tonight's game between the Akron Zips and the Clemson Tigers. There's going to be some exciting NCAA action here. It just seems like this season's getting more and more intense with each week. And here come the Tigers. The Zips are going to have a rough time on the field in this game. I want to hear what Kirk Herbstreit thinks. Clemson is led by their outstanding linebacker. His talent is unparalleled, but what really makes him stand out is his leadership. His team responds to his no-quit attitude, and they should win big today. You're absolutely right. Hey, guys, I'm going with the Tigers. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Kicks it off. Edwards fields it in the end zone. Tries to juke. There's a missed tackle. One of the best football players you're going to see on the field today is this young man at linebacker. He goes 110% and really makes offenses game plan around him. He has a nose for the football and always seems to be in on the tackle. And he can drop back in the coverage, too. He's a complete linebacker. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Adams running the option. Throws off his back foot. It falls incomplete. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, that did not look pretty. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 23. Adam is back in the gun. Adam drops the throw. Looks. Heaves a long one down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. He somehow comes up with it. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. High formation here. Adam with the play fake. Throws down the middle. And it's caught for the touchdown. They look for the big boy on that one. And he found it with no problem. That guy is a low freak down. And he hits the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Ready to kick this one off. Ransom and Paul back deep to return. Kicks it off. Paul has it at the five. 
Egypt. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 30. Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He's going left. Got it. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Clemson lines up with three receivers. He'll dump this one off. It's dropped. Dropped by the wideout. McDaniel, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Drop back to pass with the throw. And it's caught right with a takedown. Two-yard pickup. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 44. Two tight ends here. McFadden back to throw. Looks like he's going to run. Hey, brings him down. up in the shotgun. They go with the option. Tackle for a loss, and they'll turn it over on down. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on down. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. Yeah, it was worth the gamble, even though they didn't make it. They'll get the ball here at the 46-yard line. The Zips set up in the gun. He drops back. Whoa. Complete. Spins upfield. Fired with a takedown. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Adam lines up in the shotgun. Throws short. And it's caught. Russ brings him down. They'll get six yards. Gain of six on the play. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Single set back to him. Back to pass. He's looking. Meyer comes away with a sack. Somebody came free there. Yeah, the linebacker shot through and nobody picked him up. He was all over him, Kirk. He wasn't letting the quarter make it anywhere. Third and nine. Ball on the 32-yard line. The defense lines up with six DB. Drops back to pass. No one open, so he's going to run. He has some room. Tackle. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The zip line up with three wide. Throws it out there. Complete. Ransom with a takedown. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yeah, just a wasted play right there. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 14. The zips come out in the ace formation. He drops back. He'll dump this one off. 
And it's caught. And they make the stop. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. They come out in a goal line set. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. He unloads it. Complete. That's a loss of four yards. The Zips line up with three wide. With a nice play fake. Looks to the end zone. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. With less than four minutes to go in the first, the score, Akron, 14, Clemson, nothing. Lines up for the kickoff. Number nine, back to return. Kicks it off. Ransom takes it at the four. The offense heads out onto the field. In their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll set up shot at the 21. Clemson comes out with five receivers. McFadden on first down. And it's caught. Love brings him down. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. And here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 31. Six DBs in the lineup. McFadden still has it. He'll dump this one off. He's into the open field. He goes down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look at it. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and ten. Ball on the 36. They come out in a nickel. McFadden to the air on first down. He's going left. Incomplete. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Clemson goes with the ace set here. McFadden drops back to pass. With the throw. He just overthrew them on that one. Quarterback has to make those passes. You can't overthrow a guy like that. Third and ten. Ball on the 36. The Tigers line up with five receivers. Looking. Throws. Touchdown, Clemson! The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. And he hits.
hits the PAT. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Johnson, ready to kick. Here's the kick. Wright fields it in the end zone. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll go to work at the 15-yard line. They line up in an eye. They'll drop him for a loss. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Second and 11 coming up. Ball in the 14. Going with the shotgun here. He steps up. He tosses it short. They'll bring him down. They'll get six yards. Gain of six on the play. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 20. Akron comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Adams, back to pass. Looks, throws this one out to the right. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. First and 10, ball on the 26. Adam comes to the line with three wide. Adam on first down. Wants to throw outside. Got it to his receiver. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Zips come out showing three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Short toss. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. They'll be called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. Second and 11. Ball on the 25. The zip line up with three wide. Across the middle. To the middle. It's his tight end. Gets past the tackler. And they bring him down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. It's first and 10, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Single set back for you. Setting up the play action. Across the middle. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Second and 10. Ball on the 40. Akron comes out with an eye formation. Adams drops the throw. He's looking. Across the middle. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass off. Well, when you're trying to get to the quarterback with the blitz, you better have some talented corners because they could end up on an island out there all alone. Akron lines up with three receivers. He 
Robinson with a takedown. Well, Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chain. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. First and 10. Ball on the 28. The Zips go with the eye formation. Play action. Throws down the middle. And it's the senior. Glasper brings him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Three wide outs here. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short, and it's incomplete. That ball popped out of there. Yeah, it did, but the defender had a say in that one, too. On the 11, going in. The Zips come out in the ace formation. There's the play fake. Robinson comes away with a sack. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now, coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense has to sneak in a screen pass in the head. Let him get the eye of us and then take off behind his blockers for six. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. They'll work from the shotgun. Fire tackles him for a loss on the play. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score. Akron 14, Clemson 7. Comes in for the field goal that could put them up by two scores. It's up. And it's through the upright. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Hall fields it at the three. What to look for on this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverages. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. The Tigers line up with three wide. Little talk to the right, and he's going to throw to the quarterback. Right with a takedown. Not what they were expecting there off that type of play as they barely get anything out of it. Second and nine. Ball on their own 27. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. They go with a run. Poker brings him down. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 36. The Tigers line up in a goal line formation. Setting up the play action. He's going left. It's tipped. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Clemson lining up the punt. Johnson punts it, and it's a good one. Edwards fields it to 17. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. Right. 
They'll start this drive at the 24. The Zips come out showing three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's going left. And he dropped it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Second and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. One man backfield. Adam set to go to the air. Throws down the middle. <laughs> Fellas, he's really out to an outstanding start in this football game. Hey, if he continues at this pace, he may throw for 500 yards. I'll tell you what, this guy is so much fun to watch when he gets into a rhythm like this. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 32. The Zips come to the line with their jumbo package. Adam will throw for it. He tosses it short. Complete. That's how you convert on third down. This defense had to be expecting pass. I know that. It doesn't matter, though. It's not enough to know that they were passing. You got to know their tendencies, too. First and 10. Ball on the 36. From the gun. Back to pass. Looking. Short call. And it's caught. Russ with a takedown. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. It's second down and four to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Zips come out the shotgun. Adam steps back to pass. Complete. McCullough brings him down. That was a well-designed play. Yep, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. First and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. From the gun. Adam to the air on first down. He tosses it short. Henry with a takedown. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 47. Adam with three wide receivers. Adam drops back to pass. Steps up, looks. He's going right. Got it to him on the run. He's knocked out of bounds. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Akron comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Adam hands off on the delay. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 31. The Zips come out in the ace formation. Adam, little talk to the right. He's going to try to throw. And they got him for a loss. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Adam lines up in the shotgun. Adam, back to pass. He's looking. Here's the long ball, left side. He's all the way, touchdown. And for the third time in this first half, they've managed to find the end zone through the air. When this quarterback gets in rhythm, watch out. This could be ugly. And he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place.
Akron to kick. Akron is lined up for the kickoff. Hall back to return. Kicks it off. Ransom fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over. The last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll take over at the 22-yard line. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. McFadden on first down. He tosses it short. The ball is tipped, and the corner got in there and broke that one up. Second and ten. Ball on the 22. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. Oh, what a move. Handsome daylight. And he's taken down. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 31. McFadden is in the zone and looking to make a play. He might have a chance. Knocked out of bounds. So he got enough for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Ball on the 36 yard line. One man backfield. Poker brings him down. Nine-yard pickup. Second and one coming up here, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. They're going to pitch it. Stop behind the line. A big loss after they stopped the run. <laughs> Not much you can say there. The defense just shot in and blew up that run. Third and six. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Tigers set up in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. He's got an opening. Inman with a takedown. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. First it's first and ten. And, ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Ace backfield. He's going to lose yards on this one. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. Second and 12 coming up here. All on their own 47. They'll work from the shotgun. Drop back to pass. And now he's going to run. And he's tackled in the open field. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. He steps up, looking across the middle. That was a nice pass, but it fell through the hands of his receiver. He put it in there perfectly, so there's really no excuse for dropping that football, especially on third down. Clemson ready to put this one away. Plenty of hang time on this one. Wilkerson signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Hey, if you ask me, I'd air it out some more. Hey, I agree. <laughs> Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things up. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Adam has four receivers lined up here. He's drilled as he throws. 
Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. Second and 10, ball on the 20. Adams with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Got hit as he threw. And he drops it. Dropped by the wideout. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 20 yard line. They come out in a nickel. Adam, hands off right side. Little shake and bake move. Tackle. Clemson calls a timeout. the punt. Punts the ball away. Ransom takes it to the 45. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown Clemson. A huge special teams miscue there, guys. No doubt. They'd love to have that one back. Yeah, but credit the returner for a great run back. He just ran by everybody. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Akron 24, Clemson 14. job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll go to work at the 28-yard line. From the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looks. McNeil comes away with a sack. Akron takes a timeout. Long coming up here. Ball on their own 22. The defense lines up with six DB. Adam back to throw. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. And it falls incomplete. Edwards, the intended receiver on the play. Third and long. Ball on the 22 yard line. Sets up with four receivers. Looking. He's going left. It's deflected. I tell you what, Kirk. If that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his way. Ransom back to return, and he's already proven he can break these with a block or two. Cunningham gets it off. Ransom calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 35-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 35. Clemson goes with the ace set here. 
Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's caught. Wilkerson brings him down. A gain of one. Clemson calls a timeout. The offense calls a timeout. Second and nine. Ball on their own 36. McFadden is back in the gun with the throw. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. McDaniel, the intended receiver on the play. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 36-yard line. Ace backfield. He drops back. Short toss. Higgins drops the ball. Nice pass. Just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you've got to catch the easy ones. They line up to punt this one away. He gets it away. He drops it. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 26. Adam comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Let's it go. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 26. Adam with three wide receivers. Adam set to go to the air. Across the middle. Almost intercepted. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kids. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Third and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Akron comes to the line with three wide. On the ground with the tailback. And he's stopped behind the line. Clemson takes a timeout. Akron lining up the punt. Cunningham gets it off. Ransom signals for a fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 33-yard line. They'll set up shot at the 33. Nickel defense. McFadden drops back on first down. They'll drop him for a loss. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. 10-yard penalty. That Henley drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. First and long, ball in the 23. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. On the ground with the tailback. Houston with a takedown, and they're going to play keep away and work this clock. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Akron 24, Clemson 14. Akron got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. 
Hall fields it at the three. Juke move. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 15 yards from the spot of the He took him down Let's using go. his face mask, and that'll be a 15-yarder. You betcha. And that's the worst way to bring a man down. Watch it off, refs. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. Clemson. Goes with the ace set here. McFadden drops to throw. Throws down the middle. Bounces off the would be tackle. Look at the power. And he's taken down. Lead to look it in. Nice kick. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 37. the gun. Back to pass. Looks. Wants to throw. Outside. Incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. McFadden comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He's looking for his man, and it falls incomplete. Baker, the intended receiver on the play. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the 37. On the 37 yard line. Two tight ends set. McFadden drops back to pass. He's looking. He's going right. To the middle. It's his tight end. Poker brings him down. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Clemson. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Throws it to the outside. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Second and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Ace backfield. McFadden on the option left side. Now he pitches it. Smith with a takedown. Not much there. Maybe a yard. About 12 yards out. Akron has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He drops back, steps up, throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. Here comes the field goal team. This could make it a one-score game. He gets it up, and it is good. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary. to kick this one off. Edwards and Wright deep to return. A decent kick, looks to be returnable. Wright fields it at the three. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. The Zips line up with four wideouts. 
Muhammad on the inside handoff. He's gobbled up in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 19. Adam lines up in the shotgun. Rolls to the right. Across the middle. And he can't make the catch. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Akron lines up in a shotgun set. Looking. He wants it all going long. Someone got a hand on it. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. Akron ready to put this one away. Cunningham gets it off. Ransom fields it to 48, makes a move. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Got an opening. Smith brings him down. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. First and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. The Tigers with four receivers. McFadden drops back on first down. Wants to throw outside. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. Second and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. McFadden with four wide receivers. Steps up in the pocket. And down he goes. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Terrific pass, and the wideout hauls it in for the touchdown. Brad, the wide receiver's route was the key on that play. You're right, Kirk. His route running really has improved, and the quarterback has been throwing his weight a lot more. And he hits the PAT. So with just over five minutes remaining in the third quarter, the score, Clemson 24, Akron 24. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Edwards fields it in the end zone. Break one. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. First and ten. They line up in an eye. Back to pass. He tries to spin. He's going to take off. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 28. Single set backfield. Yeah. 
Adam on play action. He steps up, and he's going to be sacked. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 20-yard line. They come out of the nickel. Adam drops back. Look out! And they couldn't hook up on that one. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. Ransom already made him pay with a punt return earlier. Cunningham gets it off. Ransom fields it at the 39. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 42. They come out of the nickel. McFadden on first down. It's tipped. And the safety got a hand on it that time. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Throws this one out to the right. Has it to the senior. Inman with a takedown. They got four yards on that one. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 46. Clemson in a five wide set. He drops back. Down the middle. It's deflected. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. They line up to pump this one away. Johnson boots it way up there. Edwards calls for the fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 21-yard line. Adam is back in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Here comes the pressure. Kirk, how many sacks do they have now? And that gives them five for the game. This offensive line has got to do a better job of protecting their quarterback. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 14. up with three receivers. Looks. Going deep on the left side. And that one's fallen incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on Too much heat. Completing the pass is more important than throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. That's true. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Third down and what they did want to get in. Ball on the 14-yard line. Akron in a four-wide set. Jakes off a tackle. Incomplete pass. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Ransom back to receive. And you better believe this is the last guy they want to punt to. He gets it off. Ransom fields it to the 44. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. Right. They'll start this drive at the 49-yard line. 
This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. He steps up. He'll dump this one off. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. Morgan, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. McFadden has five receivers lined up here. McFadden, back to pass with the throw. Complete, brought down. They go to the air and pick up a couple. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball right around midfield. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He's looking down the middle. Got it. Tackle. What an amazing catch. First down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big time play there. A spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. First and ten. Ball on the 21. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. Inside give. Coker brings him down. The halfback picks up a yard. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 20. Clemson comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Comes across the middle. Finds his receiver. Inman with a takedown. But hold on. We got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Only on the offense. 10-yard penalty. Still that penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Nickel defense. He drops back. He throws it. And it's caught. Here's an opening. And he's taken down. Six yards that time on the pass play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Tigers line up with three wide. Looking. He's going right. Another catch. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Clemson, the lineup of the jumbo set here. They bust up the play and stop them on fourth down. They couldn't convert that fourth down. Boy, look at these guys out there. They are fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. They'll set up shot at the 13. Akron lines up with three receivers. Setting up the play action. Wants to go long and does. The true freshman has it. Nice pass there, wasn't it, Kirk? Yeah, he's done a good job of finding the open man and route to a 300-yard passing day. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. They 
They come out with three wide receivers. Adams sets up the play action. Over the middle. Got him on the run. Tate brings him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Akron goes with the ace set here. Adam off the fake. He'll dump this one off. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Right. 11 yards out. Three wideouts here. Drops back to pass. Floats this one right side. Couldn't haul it in. On the 11, going in. Akron lines up in a shotgun set. Steps up, throws it to the outside. Picked off. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. First and ten. Ball on their own six. Single set backfield. He drops back. And now he's going to run. And he's tackled. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. And that'll do it for the third quarter. And at the end of three, the scoreboard dead even. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own seven. The Tiger come out showing three wide. McFadden drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. His receiver has it. Benson with a takedown. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. McFadden with four wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Feeling the pressure. And this one's broken up. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 17. Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Setting up the play action. Throws it to the outside. The pass was right there, just couldn't be controlled. This tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. It's third down and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. McFadden comes to the line with three wide. McFadden steps back to pass. Once and all, going deep. And it's incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Clemson ready to put this one away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Edwards fields it at the 38. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. Right. 
They'll get the ball here at the 49. Akron lines up with three receivers. Adams on first down. Missed tackle, and now he's going to run. He breaks free. Fire brings him down. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. Three wideouts here. Adam makes a handoff. Over the middle. He has some room. They'll bring him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone when performance matters the most. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. He drops back, looks, rolls right. He's going left. Touchdown, Akron! And he managed to find his tight end for his second touchdown reception of the ball game. And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Carrington is lined up to kick this one off. We should have a return on this one. Ransom fields it at the two. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Flipping on the receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and we'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. They'll take over at the nine-yard line. McFadden is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. They'll throw on first down. He lets it go. Complete. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Second down and 12. Ball on the seven. The Tiger set up in the gun. Back to pass. He passes it. Incomplete pass. McDaniel, the intended receiver on the play. Third, Third down and 12 to go. Ball, Ball on their own seven. They'll bring in their dime package. McFadden set to go to the air. Comes across the middle at the 30. And he's all the way down to the 33. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving for the game. First and 10, ball on the 33. Clemson goes with the ace set here. McFadden, little toss to the right, throws it to the outside. Got it, senior. And they push him out. I don't think the defense was quite ready for that one, and they give up a first down and good yardage. It's first and 10. Ball right around midfield. 
The Tiger come out in the ace formation. McFadden running the option. Right with a takedown. Nice running on the option there. That was a spectacular option keeper there, and I'm going to tell you why. It looked like that play was going nowhere, but this quarterback made the right choice by holding on to the football. You're right. Good heads-up play there by the QB. First and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Clemson lines up with three receivers. Nice play fake. He's looking. He'll dump this one off. Almost picked off. Looks like he tried to force that one. And defense was in a zone there, and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing window to throw through. Well, that window must have been tinted because he almost threw a pick. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. McFadden with three wide receivers. McFadden back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. He tosses it short. Big opening! And he shoved out of bounds. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. It's first and 10, and this is the eighth play of the drive. Four wide, McFadden drops back, throws it to the outside. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. Second and 10. This is the ninth play of this drive. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. McFadden steps back to pass. Inman brings him down. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. He steps up, throws it out there. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. They come out with three wide receivers. McFadden drops to throw. Wants to get it out on the screen. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Two-yard loss. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Clemson goes with the ace set here. McFadden drops back to pass. The ball is tipped. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Moore in to attempt the short field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Right, fields it at the two. And we got an injured player on the field. Oh, yeah. Looks like he hurt his arm on that play. Ball on the 20-yard line. Akron comes out in the shotgun. There's the play fake. He's going right. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. 
In second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Adam comes to the line with three wide. With the throw. And that one's falling incomplete. No catch that time, and he is blasting. These wideouts should try to bulk up for him because, man, they could get hurt. Third and ten. Ball on the 20. They line up in the shotgun. Adam set to go to the air. Incomplete pass. Not on target at all this drive, and that'll bring up fourth down. They line up to pump this one away. Cunningham punts it, and it's a good one. Rainey takes it to 36. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They'll go to work at the 39-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. Setting up the play action with the throw. Here's an opening. And he's tackled almost six yards on the play action. It's second down and four to go. Ball on their own 45. Three wideouts to the left side. Up the middle. Brought down. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. We get third and three here. Ball on their own 46. Clemson goes with the ace set here. He broke his ankle. Porter with a takedown. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Controlling the line of scrimmage is crucial here. Hey, brings him down. They get enough for the first down. Just a little option here to the fullback, and they got enough for the first. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50. The Tigers line up with three wide. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. Second and ten. Ball on the 50. They come out in a five-wide set. Drop back to pass with the throw. Got some open feet. A little juke. Inman with a takedown. Let me say this right away. That pass just put the quarterback over 300 yards passing. Sweet. Third down, less than a yard. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. The Tigers line up in a goal line for me. Fumble, loose ball. This defense almost came up with a play in the game. What a lucky fumble recovery by the offense. They were still alive. And all they need is a score here. Let's see if they can keep this drive going. They're still alive, all right. But it's not going to last much longer if they don't protect the football. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looking. He's going left. And it's caught. Kurt, I've been told cats have nine lives. How many lives do you think these guys got? I don't know the answer to that question, but I do know that in a do-or-die situation, everything seems to go right for these guys. No question, my friend. That's twice on this drive that they've converted on fourth down. McFadden lines up with five wide out. McFadden drops back on first down. He's hit and got away. Wilkerson brings him down. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. The pressure turns up when in the red zone. 
And that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. McFadden with the play fake. End zone! And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, Coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get over. I think you need a double team up. Tacks on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Clemson 34, Akron 31. gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession going three and out they'll start this drive at the 20 yard line Akron comes out in the shotgun back to pass look he rolls out to the right he decides to run with it McNeil with a takedown. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. Throws this one out to the right. The senior makes the catch. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and ten, ball on the 31. They'll work from the shotgun. Drop back to pass. The senior makes the catch. Akron calls a timeout. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back, steps up, he's looking, he's going right. Ha! And it's a whole new ball game. Great route, great catch, great score. That's not the first time this kid's found the end zone. And my friend, I don't think it'll be his last either. Three touchdowns, wow, that is impressive. And he hits the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Ransom fields it at the 2. Spin move. At the 30. At the 40. Down the sideline. He's into the open field. To the 20. To the 10. And he... Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. 
What a great return. Did you see him turn the Jets on there? There aren't too many guys in college football that can catch him in the open field, and you saw an example of that on this play. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Clemson 41, Akron 38. Johnson is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Wright fields it in the end zone. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll get the ball here at the 18-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass, steps up in the pocket. Looks like he's gonna run. Big opening! Blasper brings him down. Akron takes a timeout. First and 10, ball on their own 35. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. He steps up, looking, across the middle, incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and 10, ball on the 35-yard line. They line up in the shotgun, snap is high, steps up, he unloads it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third and 10. Ball on their own 35. Akron lines up for the shotgun set. Adam steps back to pass. Looks. And now he's going to run. They'll bring him down. A five-yard quarterback scramble. Akron calls a timeout. They're going to try to convert this one. Sack him on fourth down. <laughs> and this ball game's over. Dirk, what do you think of this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Akron played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Clemson 41, Akron 38. From all of us here.